Okay, this video is for 12.2G, volume of pyramids and cones. All right, so this worksheet looks a lot like the worksheet we did yesterday. Um, so what we want to do today is similar um, to that. We'll come up with the formulas for both the pyramids and the cones. Um, both of them relate heavily to what the area of the base is, of course, and so we'll identify a few areas of the bases, and then we'll do one problem finding the volume of a pyramid and one pro problem finding the volume of a cone. So let's start with one and two. The formula for the volume of a pyramid. Now, this formula, like you know in your notes, is one-third area of the base times height. So it's very similar to the um, volume of a prism that we talked about yesterday, except for we have to multiply base times height by one-third. Remember that big B stands for area of the base. All right, and then similar um, to cylinders, volume of a cone is one-third times pi r squared times height. Now remember, pi r squared is also the formula for the area of a circle because the, the cone has a base that's a circle. So again, this is also the area of the base. It just happens to be a circle every time with a cone. All right, so since these deal heavily with area of the base again, let's do a couple where we identify what kind of base we have. So the base is going to be the side in a pyramid or a cone that is opposite of the point. So that would be the base right there, and you can see that that has six sides, so it's a hexagon base. In number five, you can tell that it's a rectangle, four sides. And in number six, we've got three sides, that is a triangle. All right, now let's do a couple problems actually solving for volume. Let's work with number 11 first. Number 11, here's its base, it's opposite of the point. It's got three sides, it's got a triangle base. So remember, volume is one-third area of the base times height. So we need to find the area of the base. We need to figure out what big B is. Well, since this is a triangle, the area is one-half base times height. So, let's fill in what we know. Since it is a right triangle, 3 and 4 are going to be base and height. It doesn't matter which one you call it. Um, so I'll, I'll say that 3 is our base, 4 is our height. So 1 half times 3 times 4, and that's going to equal... Remember, when you put this into your calculator, instead of 1 half, you might want to use 0.5 pretty easy to do that. So 0.5 times 3 times 4 is 6. And then now that we got the area of the base, we need to figure out what the height of the prism is, or the, the height of the pyramid is, and that is this distance extending down from the point. You can see that that is 5. So for our volume, what we want to do is do one-third times big B, which we said big B is 6, times the height of the pyramid, which we just underlined in red, which is 5. So one-third times 6 times 5 will give us the volume of this pyramid. Put that into your calculator, and you get... pretty much exactly 10. And remember this has units, so that's going to be yards, and since it's volume, it's cubic yards. So 10 yards cubed. All right, let's do So find the volume of each cone. Let's remember what the volume formula is. Volume equals 1 third times pi r squared times height. Well, 4 right here. That's our radius of our circle. And then the height of the cone from the point 
is 10 inches. So this is our H, this is our R, let's plug it in. Volume equals one third times pi times four squared times 10. Plug that into your calculator and you get one second. hundred and sixty seven point five five inches cubed. That's our final answer.